hi there my name is felix welcome to the future millionaire channel so today i'll be talking about why modern doctors are generally broke why modern doctors are not financially stable and i'm also going to tell you the four things to consider as a junior doctor if you want to be financially free in your early stages of life a junior doctor in the UK makes 36,000 to 48,000 annually depending on where they are working from. A survey done by the uh, British Medical Association revealed that 91% of junior doctors uh, have student loans uh, and half of them have overdraft and one third uses one or two credit cards. An average debt of 70,000 quid or 70,000 pounds, that's a lot of money to settle if you're a junior doctor. So it's it's kind of very difficult and challenging to survive. Supposing if you are earning uh, 2,500 to 3,000, there are a lot of things you use that money for. First of all, you pay your tax, you have student loan to settle. And if you're overdraft or if you're having credit card, you need to also clear the credit cards and all that. So it, it's very challenging for you to be able to live on that small amount of money. So today I'm going to tell you what you can do in order for you to be stable and be able to pay off credit cards, pay your student loans, and also get additional sum of money to build your wealth and become financially free. There are a couple of things you can do. I'll take you through four things as a young, uh, vibrant, energetic doctor you can do to be stable. Number one is picking up extra shifts. Now, if you're working in, in, in NHS, there are amount of shifts you can do as a doctor, 40 hours in a week. There are additional possibilities that you get time to pick an extra shift. We call it locum shift that you can do to uh, maximize or increase your fin finances at the end of the month. As a junior doctor, there are possibilities that you get off days in a week or you can get additional time normally you work if you're not on call you work from 9 to 5 p.m so after 5 p.m you can pick additional shift rather than going home and sleep and be watching netflix and all that you can pick extra shift to increase your monthly income so this will help you grow your finance so number two on the list is going back to your childhood memories you now studies have shown that if you are able to recollect when you, you had interest most, apart from being a doctor, when you were a child, you can build on it to become successful in that particular interest that you had when you were a child. So go back to your, uh, your childhood memories, recollect what you really love doing the most that will help you fetch you more money. You can decide to make a YouTube videos and share some of the things that you do to even grow yourself and grow your finances. So go back to your childhood memory, pick the things that you love doing the most apart from being a doctor and work on it to grow yourself in becoming successful via that particular thing that you did had interest in was when, you were, when you were a child. Number three on the list is real estate investment. Now real estate inv investment, you'll be asking how are you going to do that? You are a doctor, you have so much merit when it comes to getting money. But first of all, you need to build your credit score. And in building your credit score, it means that you need to pay most of the loans that you owe. When you're able to build your credit score and pay all some of the loans that you owe and be, be stable at some point and you know that you've saved enough money, you can go into real estate investment. You can go into real estate, buy your new home, first home. You're 22, 25, you still have a long way to go. Probably you're not even married and you don't have kids. This is the time you need to use your time wisely to be able to build your finances and be and retire very early without having to go on on course whilst you are 65 you always work pay your student loan so get your first home you can do that by building your credit score or you can do that by by asking a friend if you trust the friend very much the two of you can decide to help each other save 15 to 20 percent of the uh, apartment or the home you want to buy and then look for a mortgage but before you can get a mortgage like i said you need to build your credit score and that will help you start building your finances and being financially free and independent at the age of 40 or 45 you start heading towards your retirement rather than staying in this job for the rest of your life you can start doing something now and take advantage of the opportunities that is available for you whilst you're young now, number four on the list is investment itself. So if you have not started investing, I'm going to encourage you to start doing that. If you are saving enough, you can start investing now. 
small amount of money is okay for you to grow your your invest your investment portfolio now what you have to do is just sign up from any investment uh institution and start saving or investing small amount of money every month let me tell you something that you don't know if you are 22 or 25 now in 15 years time if you save 300 to 400 pounds every month by the by the age of 48 or 50 you'll be earning around 500 thousand to 1 million pounds you can look into this and start doing it now and when you are 50 you can retire you can decide whether to work or to stay at home and enjoy your life with your family. This is something you would like to think about because you have gone through a lot in med school and going through this junior doctor foundation year, whatever uh, period that you're going in residency is hectic and you need to be wise enough to save, invest, get your home, first home, get you can start doing real estate. You don't need to look after the home that you, you purchase you have agencies that can do that for you so think wise start doing something now and start growing your finances and start living your independent financial life consider doing these four things and you'll be fine in the early stages of your life thank you so much for joining me today i believe this video really helps you i'll see you again take care for now bye bye